It's episode 76. Hi! And do you have an idea what's also 76? Probably the distance of this idiot to us in millimeters who is cutting the corner in a ridiculous fashion. And what is the opposite of cutting corners? Not taking the corner in any way and spontaneously coming up with other decisions. Close one. Mirrors? Anyone? It's getting better and I ask it again. Mirrors? Anyone? It's one of those stupid almost crashes that could only happen because we got two numbskulls here. First off, both were stopping shortly after to discuss the event. The Mercedes driver did not admit that he would be at fault in any way. However, he is at fault because when starting a passing, it is your duty to check for traffic from behind. If not, somebody else is already in the middle of passing. He did not check the mirrors or his shoulder, he is guilty of obliviousness. But the golf driver just as much, because as the Mercedes was already swerving out in front of him, he had all the time and reason to cancel his passing, but kept going crowbar style and put fictitious pedestrians and cyclists in danger of death. Because he was dodging onto this bike lane here, and we don't know if he did that because he saw nobody was there, or if he did it just as a reflex while looking at the other car. We don't know that, but we do know that both drivers were showing plenty of incompetence. The driver in front of us is swerving back and forth, and that is a good indication for concerning fatigue. Driving through town, minding our business, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Where the hell did this guy come from? He supposedly came shooting out of the side road at full speed, slamming into the camera car. That driver seems to have a few skeletons in his closet, which is why he is escaping the scene. Then the video suddenly stops. Cops were able to track down the other car the same day, but we don't know if the driver was found. Certainly a bad day for our man, his damages were adding up to around 13,000 bucks. And how do such crashes happen? With the help of oblivious specialists like this one, supposedly not even recognizing his deeply red light. This guy nicely fulfilling his duty to not touch the pavement of the first 90% of an exit lane. Gotta keep that road nice and shiny. Little car with little engine. Ah, never mind the 40 tons approaching from behind. It'll be fine. Have you ever heard people saying, be cautious about kids in residential areas? Some people hear this so often it kind of sounds like a meme, but... Uh, there is perfect logic behind that. This is a good reason why the speed limit is only a limit, but driving slower than this often is a really good idea. Remember driver's duty to always pass cyclists? What else was happening here? Now I'd like to see a real proper right-of-way violation. Ah, good one, thanks. This freeway is about to split up, and because traffic is a little slow on the right, people try to pass them on the left side for as long as possible. And this yellow line is not supposed to be crossed. Mm, I have a dark memory about something with overtaking, mirrors and shoulders... I can't quite remember. Eh, nothing important for sure anyway. <laughs> See, not important. Just barely made another driver crash into oncoming traffic. Nothing to worry about. Oh, red light? Not red enough. Here we got a constant green light, and some scooter dude seems to use it as an opportunity to try to end his misery. 
But riding on two wheels being as vulnerable as it gets seems to make many people think that watching for traffic doesn't mean anything for them to stay healthy. <laughs> Trucking Ben is still trucking Bien. He may take this yellow light very late, but you don't bring 40 tons to a stop if not totally needed. That doesn't count for the car behind him though. Yeah, a four-wheeled toy followed him over the light and can't even wait for a few seconds for him to finish turning before passing. Junge, Junge, Junge. Hey, da bist du wach morgens, ne? Dangerous passing and danger in oncoming traffic, why would your common driver worry about something as simple as this? But people in general just have a habit of being impatient to the moon and back, even if they are not truly in a hurry. And this sadly sometimes counts for me as well. At least this guy here does not violently force himself through. Not a very pretty distance, but still safer than playing chicken with the others. Watch yourself and your passengers when opening the doors, especially in tight places like this ferry. Opening car doors always, always needs to be done carefully, no matter where you are. And doing this reliably, our man Leon himself shows a good trick for that. Und genau darum empfehle ich euch beim Aussteigen den holländischen Griff. Wenn ihr normal aussteigt mit der linken Hand die Tür öffnet, dann dreht ihr euren Oberkörper ja nicht, sondern guckt nur so ein bisschen seitlich. Wenn ihr zum Öffnen, wenn ihr auf der Fahrerseite sitzt, die rechte Hand nehmt, dann macht ihr automatisch schon eine Drehung des Oberkörpers und es fällt euch viel leichter, den Blick nach hinten zu machen und den rückwärtigen Verkehr oder auch Radfahrer rechtzeitig sehen zu können. Also wenn ihr auf der Fahrerseite sitzt, immer mit dem rechten Arm die Tür öffnen, dann hat man automatisch schon die Drehung des Oberkörpers. Wenn ihr auf der Beifahrerseite sitzt, mit der linken Hand die Tür öffnen. Alright, now on a different note, bicycles are getting bigger and heavier it seems, and gaining more wheels. And a classic one coming from ahead, seeming a little lost on the pavement. Well, can't expect proper traffic behavior from kiddos. We keep seeing interesting bikes. Being on a one-way road for cars here, there we see another one of those bigger bikes with more wheels. Or maybe the driver just grabbed the wrong vehicle and didn't notice. This truck has a very nice print on those doors, showing drivers how to generate an emergency corridor. A very important concept that can indeed save lives. Always make sure to steer your car to the side when traffic doesn't flow, so emergency vehicles can pass. So the last thing we see today is this little town fox. So it's time for me to tell you about all this content we have and you can go watch it either by clicking the episode you see to the left or the playlist to the right. Do that and I'm gonna get me tiramisu now. That stuff is awesome. See you very soon again.